Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. This is Parmeshwar Sarma this side. Kindly let's say pause the video, give it a try for 2 minutes and then resume the video. Now today's sum basically is based on the concept of time and work. Again I can show you a couple of approaches. I will show you two approaches to solve this particular question. And let's see how to proceed with this. At the usual efficiency level, A and B together complete a task in 12 days. So the one way to tackle this particular question will be if I assume suppose A and B represent the amount of work done by A and B in one day. So let me ask you can we say total work in terms of man days should be nothing but equals to 12 into A plus B. Since I told you A and B represent the amount of work done by A and B in a single day. Then they are saying that if A had worked at half his efficiency and what about B? B is working at the thrice as efficiently as he normally does. What does it simply mean? Now in a day A does A by 2 and let's say B does 3 times, so 3B. And this, in this particular case the work is done basically is in 9 days. So again if I ask you to tell me total work in terms of the variables, can we say total work should be equals to 9 days and per day the work done is A by 2 and B does a 3B per day. And now can we equate both of them? So if I equate both of them we can find out the relationship between A and B over here. So one will get if I equate them 12A plus 12B is equals to 4.5A plus 27B. So if I bring A on one side and B on the other side one is going to get a 12A minus 4.5A gives you 7.5A and that is equals to 27B minus 12B giving you 15B. So one gets A is equals to 2B. Now what does this mean? B basically is twice as efficient as B. So A basically is twice as efficient as B over here. Now what after this? What does it mean? So if I say B does one work in a day, then B will A will do two. Then what about A and B put together? They will do it in three. So now if I focus on the question basically asked for how many days A will take to complete the same task at her normal efficiency. So if you focus on this particular number, when both of them work together at the normal efficiency level, then the work gets done in 12 days. So I need to find out this particular number. So it has to be nothing but 3 into 12 divided by 2 giving you the number 18 as our answer. Another way could be, since if you can focus on, since the rate of let's say A is 2 third compared to what they do together, so the time taken by A alone has to be 3 by 2 of the number 12 giving you the number same number 18 as the answer. Since efficiency and the let's say number of days are going to be inversely proportional to each other. Let's see another approach because most of you are familiar with the approach of taking the LCM as total. So now let's look at the second method. So total work I will take as, if you look at the number 12 and the number 9, the LCM comes out with the number 36. So what does this mean if I ask you in the first situation how much is the per day work done by A and B both put together and the answer basically has to be nothing but 3. 36 divided by 12 give me 3. So one can say A plus B becomes equals to 3. In the second situation understand that they are completing the work in 9 days. It simply means that per day they are doing how much work? 36 divided by 9 giving you the number 4 and that 4 is nothing but equals to now A does at half the rate, B does at thrice the rate so 3B and this thing is equals to 4. So what we can do is we can find out the per day work of A and B respectively but if you have read the problem I need to find out the time taken by A alone. Let's try to eliminate B from here so one can say possibly that 3a if I multiply the first equation by 3 one gets a 3a plus 3b as 9 and now suppose if I say I subtract the this equation equation let's say number 2 minus equation number 1 b will be out and one is going to get 3a minus a by 2 which comes out to be nothing but 5a by 2 that is equals to 5 so the per day work done by a happens to be 2. So if per day work done by A happens to be 2 and if the amount of work is 36 unit, how much time A will take and that has to be nothing but 36 divided by 2 giving us the same number 18. So my answer is going to be option number 
four. So now kindly try a similar question on the same lines and let's say kindly put the answer in the comment section.